Canopen Architect is a software application designed to allow quick and easy creation of object dictionaries. It can export documentation, electronic data sheets, and source code for Canopen nodes. In this video, I will demonstrate the new libraries feature of Canopen Architect Professional. Canopen Architect Professional has features for power users who require more flexibility. A new feature we have added to version 9 is libraries. Libraries are object dictionaries or pieces of an object dictionary that can be reused in multiple electronic data sheets, otherwise known as EDSs. This is useful in several scenarios, such as working with virtual devices, working on nodes that support both Canopen and Canopen FD, or when working with a family of modular nodes, to name a few. A library can contain as little as one entry or thousands, and they can be added to an EDS or replace the contents of an EDS, giving a great deal of flexibility. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we had a product that could come in two versions. Version A has a pressure sensor, and version B has both a pressure and temperature sensor. First we'll create the library for the pressure sensor. We do that by clicking on the Add New Library button. We're going to call this library Pressure. And we're going to add a new entry, 2001, called Pressure. Libraries are added to their own section in the Project Explorer and are initially empty. Now we will create a second library for temperature. We have our building blocks, so the next step is to create our first EDS. We'll do that by calling it type A. We don't want to copy the pressure entry into this EDS because that creates duplication of entries, and if we later on want to change the pressure entry, we would need to change it in all EDSs that use it. To add a library to an EDS, go to the library section, click on the add button, and choose it from the list. Next we will create a second EDS. This time we'll add in both libraries. Let's compare the two EDSs when exported to see what they look like. Here we have the Type A EDS and we can see that it contains the pressure entry at 2001. Here we have the Type B EDS, or we can see that it contains the pressure entry at 2001 and the temperature entry at 2002, as we expected. Suppose we later on in the project decide that pressure needs to be a different data type. Even though it's included in multiple EDSs, we only need to change it in one place in the library. When exporting EDSs, they will now reflect the new data type. We now wish to add an entry that indicates what is supported in the node, bit 0 for pressure and bit 1 for temperature. Because this entry is different for each EDS, we add it to the EDSs directly. For type A we have set bit 0 to indicate it supports pressure, and for type B we have set bit 0 and 1 to indicate it supports pressure and temperature. If we now export both the EDSs we can look at the changes. Here we have the type A EDS, 
And if we look at entry 2000 functionality, bit one is set. And if we look at the type B EDS, entry 2000 functionality, bit zero and bits one are set. This is of course a simple example, only using one entry in each library which do not overlap. But it demonstrates the flexibility possible when using libraries to construct electronic data sheets. It is a great way to reuse section of object dictionaries without having to make and maintain multiple copies of lots of entries. Thank you for watching.